In this module, we're going to have a look at the architecture skills uh, framework. It's uh, part of uh, part six, the architecture capability uh, framework, uh, and it gives guidance on uh, potentially skills required to fulfill the various roles within uh, uh, enterprise architecture capability. There are many roles involved in enterprise architecture practice. Uh, enterprise architecture and enterprise architect are widely used but poorly defined terms and there's need for clearer definitions. Uh, enterprise architecture practice is a formal program of development and certification by which an enterprise recognizes the skills of its architects. Such a program is essential in order to ensure the alignment of staff skills and experience with the architecture tasks uh, that the enterprise wishes to perform. Purpose of the uh, skills framework, uh, enterprise architecture practice is both difficult and costly to set up. The TOGAF architecture skills framework attempts to address this need by providing definitions of the architecting skills and proficiency levels required of personnel, internal or external, who are to perform the various architecting roles defined within the TOGAF framework. Benefits uh, of the, the framework, um, reduce costs, uh, time, risk in training, hiring and managing architecture professionals, reduce time and cost to set up an internal architecture practice. Uh, this in turn helps reduce the cost, uh, the, um, cost, time and risk of overall solution development. TOGAF Architecture Skills Framework provides a view of the competency levels for, for specific roles within the enterprise architecture team. Uh, it defines the roles uh, within the enterprise architecture work area the skills required by those roles and the depth of knowledge required to fulfill each role successfully. Uh, a typical architecture team undertaking the development of an enterprise architecture comprises the following roles. Architecture board members, architecture sponsor, architecture manager, uh, and then we have uh, enterprise architect, business architect, data architect, application architect, technology architect, uh, program project managers, IT designer, etc. What they've done is to try and break down the uh, the, the skills um, into sort of seven main areas. We have um, generic skills, which cover leadership and team working and so on. We have business skills and methods, so business case, business process, strategic planning, enterprise architecture skills, modeling, building block design, uh, and so on. Program and, and uh, project management skills, managing business change, um, project management methods. IT general knowledge skills, uh, broken applications, asset management and so on, technical IT skills, uh, um, software engineering, for example, and legal environment, data protection laws, contract law, uh, procurement law, and so on. They then provided um, this guidance, which has got four levels of proficiency, uh, background, uh, which is level one, uh, no required skill, though, should be able to define and manage the skill if required. Uh, level two awareness understands the background issues and implications sufficiently to be able to understand how to proceed further and advise client accordingly. Uh, level three knowledge, uh, detailed knowledge of subject area and capable of providing professional guide, advice and guidance and ability to integrate capability into architecture design. And expert, which is level four extensive and substantial practical experience and applied knowledge on the subject. And this is just one of the, um, the, the skills matrices that they have, because uh, there there's one for each of the major areas, so there's seven of them all together. Uh, and it gives you the, uh, the generic skills down the left-hand side, and across the top you've got the, uh, the roles uh, and the level of proficiency for each of those. Um, whether you find this guidance useful or not is, is entirely up to you to decide. Um, it does, however, feel that um, uh, the person or persons who put this together have a rather disparaging view of IT designers because um, although we can only see this one table, if you go through all seven of the tables, um, the IT designer you know, is, is often a one or a two for most things. Um, and yet, you know, the, the enterprise architecture manager, for example, is, is a four for everything, except for uh, legal, if I remember rightly. And even with legal, it's it's sort of twos and threes. So uh, you can take, you know, this this guidance um, how you wish is, is what I will say uh, on that. Um, but some people might say that it's better than nothing. Summary then, this module introduces the architecture skills framework, classification model for architecture roles. 
you don't need to know any of this particularly for exam purposes they're not going to be saying you know what skill level should somebody be they don't go into any of that sort of detail but it's there uh, if you want to have a look at it and you might find it useful uh, in certain situations